And with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's visit to the United States just days away, a group of American lawmakers have joined the chorus of voices calling for him to make a formal apology for Japan's actions during World War II. Our Connie Kim has more. 25 members of the U.S. Congress have urged Abe to squarely face history and formally reaffirm and validate conclusions expressed in Japan's previous Kono and Murayama statements. Both were formal apologies for the country's wartime sexual enslavement and colonialism. The lawmakers, a mix of Democrats and Republicans, issued the call in a letter to the Japanese ambassador to the U.S., Kenichiro Sasai. A diplomatic source told Seoul based on a news agency that the move is highly unusual considering that it's coming from both political parties. Earlier this week at a conference in Jakarta, the Abe administration continued to deny state responsibility for the country's past wrongdoings. In a speech, the prime minister stopped short of an apology, instead offering an expression of remorse for Japan's involvement in World War II. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the end of the war, and victims of Japanese military sexual enslavement feel that an apology is long overdue. Speaking at a conference in Washington, Lee Yong Su said she was 14 when she was taken by Japanese soldiers. She's now 86 and said that Abe must face the truth of his country's crimes against women. Abe wants all the victims of sexual enslavement to die. But I will not die. I will resolve this issue, get an apology from Abe, be compensated, and then die. Of the approximately 200,000 women forced into sexual enslavement, the majority from Korea, just 53 are still alive and waiting for Japan's apology. Connie Kim, Arirang News.